What's up guys? So today I'm just sharing another trade. You can see the knives here. Which one was mine? Which one is mine now? We'll find out. So, got a, a letter here. It's actually Yabo, but I opened it. I felt the camera was on. It was not. So we're trying it again. <laughs> it says, uh, Jeff, Yabo time. Thanks for the consideration uh, this trade with me, or considering this trade with me, excuse me. A long time follower of your channel. What brought me to your channel, you ask? Uh, I was into MREs years ago and stumbled across your video eating at a military MRE. And the rest was history. Now on to the knife. It's a Benchmade Mini Reflex that I got from a friend who upgraded and gave this to me. The edges uh, need some love uh, that I cannot give since all I usually use is a Spyderco Sharpmaker. Uh, I'm excited uh, to see your take on this model and perhaps a video of you sharpening it and showing the results. Anyway, keep up the great content. Thank you for the countless hours of entertainment. Best regards, Angelo. There's Angelo's YouTube channel. Thank you, Angelo. I appreciate it. Uh, talked on Instagram. He had the mini effects, as he just uh, mentions. Uh, this is actually a knife I don't believe I've had. I had, I want to say, the full-size reflex. And just opening it, I was just talking about this in the first, you know, take of this video, which you won't see because the camera wasn't on. Um, but I was trading for this uh, Kaiser, okay? And I love this Kaiser. The only thing that I don't like about it is the fact that uh, it's a little small for my hands. So the inside of the flipper, okay, which becomes our guard, rubs on my finger, all right? Now, if I'm using this lightly, it's not a problem, but if I'm, you know, using it heavy or something like that, I do feel that rubbing on the finger. So, <laughs> with the uh, mini reflex, it just so happens my big hands, also uncomfortable. There's obviously a little point right here. If you had smaller hands, it would not ride there. Your pinky would probably land there, uh, which looks like it would be, but once I actually grip it, it goes right into the middle of that pinky. So I'm training one slightly uncomfortable cool knife for another slightly uncomfortable, but very cool knife. Uh, so yeah, just needs a little uh, TLC. I'll do some sharpening on this. Uh, spring still seems okay. This one is in uh, ETS 34, old school steel. You don't see, see it uh, used as much today. But uh, yeah, just a little blast in the past. I do like the, uh, the old bench mains. I like old knives in general. Uh, the mini reflex is just another great example of a knife that I grew up with when I was a teenager. You know, expensive knives that I wanted, you know, maybe didn't get a chance to get or try. And it's just cool seeing the older models. So this one also has a little lock on the back, you see. Keeps it from opening in the pocket. When it's unlocked and you open it, you can also put that back on, right? just like other models. So it keeps it from closing. So yeah. Pretty cool. So there's another trade for the history books. Cool Kaiser for a cool old Benchmade. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up and get this out probably tomorrow. But yeah, I'll miss it. I actually like everything about this knife. I think I did a video talking about it. I know I didn't do a review, uh, but I think I did a video with uh, another Kaiser as well. And just like I said, everything about this is pretty cool to me except for just that little bit of rubbing. Uh, but yeah, it's a very nice knife. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. In the meantime, write down in the comments your recent trades. See you guys tomorrow. Take care.